Hello, this is forward slash reality, but I will be playing with fire, lasers, magnets, and anything else I can get my hands on, all in the name of science. To start with, first thing I'm going to do is take this shiny metal ball, just an ordinary steel ball bearing, splits of fire, and see just what happens. One lighter, one chrome steel wall bearing. In a sink for safety, light the fire, and then place the wall bearing in the fire. Continue to heat it up until it starts to blacken. This blackening is due to soot buildup from the fire, as well as oxides building up on the surface. Place it underwater to rinse off excess particles. And as you can see, some of the colour distortion starts to show through. After a quick clean and polish, you can clearly see how the bearings have changed after a single burn-in. Turned from silver and reflective, they have become speckled with black sections along with a myriad of other colours on their surface. These are all caused by the build-up of oxides due to the intense heat. The colour depends on how thick the oxide build-up is at that section. The enhanced image clearly shows the variety of colours formed by this process. Let us examine our experiment. First off, we want to maximise the heat, so we've got to choose the hottest part in the fire. This is just above the first peak we see in the flame itself. We can picture the bearing as atoms on its surface. Note how the atoms are already moving as there is some heat energy to begin with. As we add heat energy, the atoms vibrate more and more violently. The oxygen molecules in the air also increase their speed, making collisions more likely and with more energy. With this increased energy, the oxygen atoms react with the surface metal ions and form oxide compound, which coats the surface of the full bearing. Light will reflect both of the oxide layer and the metal layer. Different colours have different wavelengths, and as they reflect, the different wavelengths will interfere with each other. Depending on the thickness of the oxide layer, different wavelengths will either become brighter or cancel each other out due to this interference. The wavelengths that return to your eyes determine the colour you see. 